negotiations to end Somalia's political crisis are due to get underway in Mogadishu Thursday. State leaders have been flying in, including Galmaduk President Ahmed Korkor and Southwest State Leader Abdiaziz Loftegreen. All eyes are on the Somali capital as there is great hope that Prime Minister Mohamed Roble can accomplish a compromise. The talks have no announced duration. We know that state leaders will meet with federal government officials, but who else Roble will invite during the talks is a mystery. Opposition politicians have lobbied for inclusion. Some have suggested representatives from the legislature, especially the Somaliland-born Speaker of the Senate, be involved. Civil society leaders could also have a voice. It would appear that no international mediator will be present at this point. Roble tweeted his commitment to make the consultation successful. I am optimistic that it commences smoothly and ends satisfactorily, so that the country goes to transparent and mutually agreed upon elections. European Union Ambassador Nicholas Berlanga sent his support online, saying, Thankful to PM Roble for convening with Somalia's partners today. His engagement to build trust is essential. Last week's events show the incoming summit is the only remaining opportunity to demonstrate commitment to the future of Somalia. None should spoil or block an agreement. There has been a flurry of activity from Jubaland President Ahmed Madobe leading up to the meetings. He named a cabinet late Wednesday for the first time since being re-elected in October 2019. And he was interviewed by BBC Somalia, where he said he has confidence in the electoral process led by the Prime Minister. He did, however, warn President Mohamed Farmajo to stay out of the talks, not meddle with security, adding that administration of the Gato region should be left to Jubaland. Benadir Governor Omar Falish, a Farmajo ally, has been meeting with security officials ahead of the negotiations. Our Lodi News reported that Puntland President Saeed Denny was in Nairobi Saturday. Madobi and Denny have been key holdouts on implementing the September 17th electoral agreement. Our Lodi also published an editorial, cautiously hopeful that Roble will get a deal done. Somalis from Jubaland to Hershebele. Puntland, Galmaduk, Southwest, and Mogadishu are all looking forward to one thing. That day when leaders will come out of the hall and announce a definite electoral calendar. Only Roble-led discussions can meet this expectation. Or crush it. ADN TV will report on these crucial electoral meetings in the capital as they progress.